if the price of two photo frames is rupees 200 then what will be the price of five photo frames i am pranay sai and let us understand an interesting and a bit confusing topic that is chain rule let us know what is involved in this concept the questions in chain rule usually consists of two or more statements with some elements in it. So what can be the elements? It might be men or labor, the number of days, the time, the work, the price and so on. Out of these elements, we have to find out the missing element. And how to find the missing element? That is by comparing the given statements in the question. Here we can find two statements and there are certain elements like men, ours in this question. We have to find the missing element that is hours in this case. In order to get this value, we will have to compare the two statements given in the question. We will have a clear picture when we solve the problems. Now let us understand the concept of directly proportional and indirectly proportional which is significantly important in solving the problems in chain rule. What does directly proportional mean? If on increase or decrease of one quantity, the other also increases or decreases to the same extent. This is known as directly proportional. And indirectly proportional is opposite to directly proportional. That is, if on increase of one quantity, the other decreases and vice versa. An example of directly proportional is if the number of items to be purchased increases then cost also increases. On the other hand the example for indirectly proportional is if number of men increases then the work time decreases. Now let us understand the formulae. As I said earlier let us say there are two statements in the question. Let M be men or labor, D be days and T be time and W be work or wages and A be amount or price and S be some product, something like food or milk used or diesel or petrol which is used in the car etc. Having understood all these, the formula is as follows M1 D1 T1 is equal to M2 D2 T2. As there are two statements in the question, I have named it as M1 and here M2. Similarly, D1 T1 and D2 T2. Up to here, everything given in statement 1 is written below it and statement 2 is written below it. If there are any additional elements like work or wages or amount then these values are interchanged that is w2 or a2 here it will be w1 or a1 this is the standard formula to solve the problems in chain rule all the elements in statement 1 are written on one side and all the elements of statement 2 are written on other side except wages or work done or amount or prices or cost of items if given in the question they are only interchanged like what we have done here. You will be able to get a superior understanding when we use this formula in solving the problems. So let us try to do this. Now we shall be solving the questions on direct proportions. A man completes 5 by 8 of a work in 10 days. At this rate how many more days will it take him to finish the work? In this question there are three elements in the given statements. A man and a work 
and number of days. So for the first statement, let's name it as M1, D1 and W1. And for the second statement, let's name it as M2, D2 and W2. But according to the formula, the works need to be exchanged. Therefore, the new formula will be M1, D1, W2 is equal to M2, D2 and W1. As number of men in both the cases are 1. And in the first statement, the number of days is 10 and we have to find out. Let's name it as X. And the amount of work done in the first statement is 5 by 8. And what will be W2? The whole minus 5 by 8. That is 3 by 8. Therefore, 1 into 10 into 3 by 8 is equal to 5X by 8. That is 30 by 8 into 8 by 5 is equal to X and you will be getting x is equal to 6. This is how we get the solution using this formula. Let us solve another question. Running at the same constant rate, 6 identical machines can produce a total of 270 bottles per minute. At this rate, how many bottles could 10 such machines produce in 4 minutes? Like previous question, let us derive the elements from both the statements. Let M be the machines and B be the bottles or work done in this case and time which is minutes. And in statement 2 as well, M2, B2 and T2. In the first statement, there are 6 machines and the number of bottles is 270 and the time taken is 1 minute. In the second case, we are asked to find out how many bottles? So, we do not know this value. This is x. 10 such machines. So, there are 10 machines and the time given is 4. As we all know, we need to interchange the works. Therefore, 6 into x into 1 is equal to 10 into 270 into 4. Therefore, x is equal to 10 into 270 into 4 by 6. On simplification, you will be getting 1800. So, the value of x is 1800. Now, let us solve the questions related to indirect proportions. 36 men can complete a piece of work in 18 days. In how many days will 27 men complete the same work? Like all other questions, we have some elements given in this question and we need to find out a missing element. That is, how many days will 27 men complete the same work? So, let us divide the statement 1 and statement 2. The elements in this question are men and days, that is M1 and D1 and M2 and D2. As the work is same in both the cases, let us neglect it. In the first case, there are 36 men and number of days are 18. And in the second case, there are 27 men and we have to find out x. 36 into 18 by 27 is equal to x. 9 2s are, 9 3s are, 3 1s are, 3 12s are. Therefore, x value will be 24. So, 27 men can complete the same work in 24 days. Let us step into another question of this type. 39 persons can repair a road in 12 days, working 5 hours a day. In how many days will 30 persons working 6 hours a day complete the work? So, from 1 and 2, we will just separate the elements. In this question, it is men, day and time and we have to write it in the second statement as well. So, the number of persons are 39, number of days is 12 and time is 5 hours a day. Similarly, in statement 2, we can find number of men 30 in working for 6 hours a day that is T2 and we have to find out in how many days that is X. If you know cross multiplication, that should be enough to solve these problems. So, 6 1s are, 2s are, 5 1s are, 5 6 are, into 1s are, 2 3s are, 3 1s are, 3 13s are. So, the value of x is 13. So, 30 persons working 6 hours a day can finish the work in 13 days. We shall try to understand the type 3 questions that is both direct and indirect questions. Let us solve this. In a dairy farm, 40 cows eat 40 bags of husk in 40 days. In how many days one cow will eat one bag of husk? Let us differentiate the elements in both the statements. So, the elements are cow, 
number of days and bags similarly c2 d2 and b2 here you can find 40 cows eating 40 bags of husk so eating is a work therefore we need to interchange these values now 40 cows in the first statement and 40 days and here it will be b2 similarly one cow in the second statement and we have to find out the number of days and here you will be getting b1 now this becomes 40 into 40 into number of bags in the second statement is 1 and 1 into x into number of bags in the first statement is 40 therefore x is equal to 40 into 40 by 40 therefore the value of x is 40 this might be an easy question but I have solved this to make you understand the concept so let's solve this this is exactly similar like what we did in the previous question here spiders webs and days are the elements so spider web and number of days similarly s2 w2 and d2 as spider is making the web so this is a work so we have to interchange the works so number of spiders in the first statement is 7 therefore 7 into w2 as we have interchanged this into d1 is equal to 1 into w1 into we have to find out d2 therefore it is x finally 7 into 1 into 7 is equal to 1 into 7 into x therefore x is equal to 7 into 7 by 7 and you will be getting x is equal to 7 all our lectures are explained in the best way possible. This is the end of the chain rule concept. Thank you.